Good morning and welcome to Community News and the Not So Round Table. Uh, we're here today with Michael Miller and really anything goes on this show. It's uh, a new edition here. So Michael, how are you doing this morning? Things are good. Yeah. And, and well, last night we were at the Greater Kendall Business Association uh, Network. Yeah. It was at AC Hotel last yep. night. All right. Yep. In the six to eight o'clock or so. Yep. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. That that was a, a new venue for us, uh, a trial run. We're going to also have our lunch next week there on the 27th. So uh, really nice property. So one of the things that, that I liked about it, I knew where to go, which was on the west side of Dadeland, and no, pro no problem parking. It was like, holy moly. And I have a truck, so I'm always thinking, there are plenty of parking spots. From yeah. Where you parked to upstairs, second floor, was four or five minutes. Yeah. Perfect. So for, for myself as an old timer, I would tell people, because people got confused, somebody thought it was the hotel across the street. And for, for me, I would say, no, it's the one next to Jordan Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew the town, that was a store that used to be there about 45 years ago. Yeah, yeah my wife actually worked there. <laughs> she actually worked there. So, so uh, Greater Kendall, it's terrific. And you, when is your next event? It's on the 27th. We have a luncheon. We have uh, a guest speaker who was internationally known, uh, Michelle Villalobos. She is a coach, and she actually coaches coaches. So uh, she's a dynamo, and it's going to be incredibly interesting. That's great. Yeah. So, by the way, I understand there is a new president of the Kendall campus, Miami-Dade College, and we, he's going to be our speaker shortly. And... Um, he was the it's Dr. Brian Stewart, who was heading up the medical campus for Miami Dade, which is in the downtown area. Yeah. So we see lots of neat changes that are going on in the community. And by the way, Miami Dade is a pathway for success. There's no question about Absolutely. that. You can go right in there. You don't have to worry about the money. You, if you want to get a certificate, you know, to become an electrician, you can do that. Or if you want to use to become a a, um, a nurse, you can go there. If you want to get your degree, so you can go go to MIT and become some fa fantastic engineer. Yep. And so I, you know, tell people, listen, go over there, see what they have to offer. And so, yeah. and so, and you may find something that's wonderful. Yep, they have a lot more to offer than when I went there. I did, uh, I did time there. <laughs> at, at Miami Dade South, as it was called back yes. then, but. Uh, the new president has some big shoes to fill, as you know. Uh, Tony Cruz was, I just thought, an outstanding individual, uh, just a, a social media yes. maven. He was he was very into social media, got the word out there, and just it, I actually went and he gave me a tour, and I was just shocked at how much the campus has has changed, the things he's done, the things he wants to do or he wanted to do. Now he's up in Wisconsin. Uh, starting with the pickleball courts, I thought yes. that was very interesting. Yes. So uh, big things he used yes. to do there. So he, the, the school went and said, okay, and these public tennis courts we have out here, let's look in the last couple of years how often they were used. It was so rare. Then there wasn't even a question about it. Okay, pickleball to be able to draw people out there. So one of the things that, that you had alluded to is, is that T Tony was a very outgoing guy and yeah. he knew how to, to publicize the good work that the staff does at Miami Dade College. And that's something that we all need to do because you could be doing wonderful things, but if nobody knows about it, then it's just for you. And that's fine if that's what you want. But if you want to build a brand or a business, you have to be yeah. able to tell that story. Well, I mean, you're, you're, uh, you're preaching to the choir here because you know, I say there are several pillars to a strong brand. And the first one is building awareness because you know, if nobody knows that you're around, nothing's going to happen. So it starts with awareness. There's so many places where people can now market themselves. How does somebody who's in business go, what should I do? How do they know if they, if they have zero, they're not for or against anything? But how do they, who do they talk to besides yourself right, on, on what they should do? Yeah, marketing evolves constantly. And and it continues to evolve. Now there's AI that can help business owners do a lot of things. And I would say you can do things on your own. You don't have to hire me to you know, have a, a LinkedIn page if it's a business to business operation, to have an Instagram page, to have a Facebook page. TikTok is huge right now, even though it's controversial. 
there are actual shops on TikTok now where you can sell your goods via TikTok. Some people have been very successful doing that. So I would say experiment, experiment with the digital space, but I also like to think that what comes around goes around. So what's happening now, what I've observed for certain types of business, some traditional marketing tactics make sense. For example, right now I would bet that your email inbox is a lot more stuffed than your mailbox at home at this point. So for some companies, home services, for example, using traditional mail works. And the US Post Office does an excellent job at delivering mail to specific areas. And you say that because there's so many people using email and it jams that up. Right. And and then you, you just cannot possibly look at it. And so we know we get it at the house. If you look at it for one or two seconds, guess what? It worked. It worked. And if you've got things like coupons on there, uh, date sensitive things, people actually will pin it on their fridge. I've seen it. Yes. And so, okay. Okay. We're getting message. Say it again. What do we have? Oh, we have five minutes. That's, five minutes? That's, oh, that's come on. Danny from the back. That's, that's, who's that, we got plenty of time. <laughs> so people can experiment with the different things. They should. They can go online. They can go to Google and say, what can I do to market myself? I don't have much money. What can I do? And get them to participate. Yeah. You don't even have to go to Google anymore. Go to ChatGPT, oh. and you'll, you'll get some good answers there. And, and for people in, 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 in Miami-Dade County, there are dozens of business clubs they can pick and choose oh, all yeah. from aventura all the way west all the way south down south day chamber aventura marketing council on the north end east yeah you, uh, you have um there, there's some downtown right and they, of course is the big one the greater miami chamber, chamber the hispanic chamber the you have chamber south pinecrest business yeah, association, association. Uh, Palmetto Bay Business Association, yep. Greater Kendall Business Association. So lots of places for people to go. Yep. Also, Doral, Cha Doral Chamber. Yep, Thomas. Doral Chamber is a big one. So lots of lots of places where people can go, and frequently the the allow non-members to go, and you can like check it out and see what it is. Absolutely. And lots of times people are, don't want to do it by themselves. They don't want to like just show up one day. So maybe they can go and look at a chamber and go, oh, I know that guy and see who the members are. And you call them up, say, listen, I'd like to go. I want to see what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a great way to get your feet wet. And, you know, I, I tell people that even if you have trepidations about going to these places alone, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Networking is just an excellent way to, to build your business. And you got to have the right expectations because you can't expect to go into a, a networking group and get business right away. I always like to say, you gotta take it outside. You have to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with you know potential clients that make sense for you. I ask our people here to go to those meetings because it's great training, confidence building, you learn how to do it, yep. and you go. And it can be a break, and you can learn, and you can try different things. And there are plenty of courses that people can take. And also speaking of AI, you mentioned, I understand the Greater Kendall Business Association is having an AI Pro, gonna yep. talk on, on July 11th for our breakfast. We have an AI, uh, I'll say guru. Again, that's changing faster than marketing is. It's it's just insane. If if people think we are old enough to remember before there was an internet, lots of people don't understand that it wasn't around forever. If we think that the internet changed the world, it took a long time. AI is changing it much faster and. And the way we market ourselves is going to be different in five years, maybe even three years. Oh, yeah. And we see the big, big, big changes that are going on. So I think oh, we're getting the hand signal again. Okay. So, Carlos, I think this is about it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. See you guys. See you next time. Bye.